I just saw they were having so much fun, I had to come join them. Okay, on three, one, two, three. Got it. This is the space. I don't know how many people, let's see, let's do quick math. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 64, 128, plus the tables in the back. 136 people max capacity. I will be shocked if we get 136 people in here twice. But if we did, I'd be super happy with that. I just wanted to, she told me that if I needed anything, yes. That you were the person. So I just wanted to say hello. Yeah, nice to meet you. Look at this. Some guys with some courage. How you doing? How you doing? Nice to meet you. I have a question for the group before we get started. Do I need that microphone? I need to hear it from you in the back. No? Yes. Okay. I don't like standing by that very luxury and I'm not a luxury type of guy. I'm a training and development guy. And so even if the company calls me to do keynote speaking, I call it keynote training. What that means is I'm going to get you involved. This is going to be interactive. I may ask some questions. They're not rhetorical. I literally want an answer. And so I may say like, hey, what beer care products do you use? Your beer looks amazing. Um, horse head brush. Look at that. He went right to it, my man. <laughs> he went right to it. Most guys are like, ah, I don't know, I just wake up like this. He's like, no, 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 poor said brush. If you were to take your phone time over the course of a week and you looked at how many times you're looking at your phone, and I like that they broke it down per app because some of you would say, oh, I'm just working. I work a lot on my phone. Yeah, yeah, TikTok's not work, buddy. <laughs> Not for most of you. I know I probably have a marketing person in here who's like, well, you know. But other than that. <laughs> oh, did I just hit the marketing section over there? Right over there. I knew it. I knew it. I saw some of you walk in here. You guys have nice walks. It didn't start out that way. It did not start out that way. I wasn't there, but I know that you didn't just come right out of the wound. That's not what happened. <laughs> What happened? You did one of you Frankenstein and then you fell and you hurt something and you ran into the coffee table if you were born in the 90s and, <laughs> or before. And uh, you know, your parents like picked you up and didn't take you to the doctor. Uh, uh, rub some dirt on it because you're, you know, okay. Uh, <laughs> and you learned how to do it. We have to give uh, our teams the ability and people around us the ability to do it poorly. And thank you so much. Hopefully I'll see you around. Appreciate you being here. All right, just finished the first session here in this conference room. There were 136 or so people in there. So we're getting it for session two. Hopefully we get the same amount of attendance. Crowd was great. Engagement was great. A lot of great conversation afterwards too. So love doing this stuff, man. Love it. Super happy to be here with you all. A couple of things. I'm walking through the hallways and I'm listening, right? I got my hearing ears on. This is a session about time management. Under no circumstances are we gonna get out of here late. One of you said that. I hope this doesn't run late. <laughs> Come on. Anybody else, uh, anybody have an iPhone in here? iPhone users? Okay, we're gonna pray for the rest of you that didn't raise your hands. Um, they have this cool feature. <laughs> Hey, if you want to live your life as an Android loser, I mean, hey, I'm sorry, not Android loser, I meant Android user. Um, evaluate some of the things that you're doing. Are we doing it this way because that's just the way we've always done it? That is one of the biggest productivity killers I hear at organizations. Well, we've always done it that way. That's not a good reason to continue to do it that way. If you are not currently delegating to your team on a consistent basis, you are limiting the value that you bring to the organization and the value they bring to the organization. What can I add to my stop doing list? If you don't have a stop doing list, start a start doing list and put stop doing on your start doing list. How about that? We have, <laughs> we say, say it again. I can't say it again. I didn't know I was gonna say it that time. <laughs> we have to know on our team 
what level of delegation do I need to assert in this situation? It doesn't mean that uh, it's not going to be the same for everybody. And it doesn't mean that you just give it to them and you walk away. It's like, all right, I'm taking it off early for the weekend. There's, there's, a, there's a process to delegation and it's more than just giving it to people. You have to understand their skill set, their abilities to control it. And then you work out uh, a 90 day or 180 day plan to eventually have them take that over. And that's all I have for you today. Look, we got done eight minutes early, because I'm the time management guy. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, we did it. We did it, and so it's done. Leaving the conference center now. Great two sessions, a lot of great compliments. Whenever you have those times where people walk up to you and they tell you that what you said was impactful or how they're gonna use it, or they have even more specific questions, like to me, that's always a good indication that I did my job. I got them to think about things just a little bit differently, right? Maybe in ways that uh, they've never thought about them before. And usually that spark is the beginning of something great as it relates to learning something new and by way of learning something new, doing something new. And so, and shout out to Star Financial. Thanks for bringing me out to your learning day. It was such a fun time. Wonderful people. We did a lot of great learning. And who knows, maybe I'll be back for Learning Day 2025. I'm looking forward to it. All right, see you.